In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Magic Lantern firmware for the Canon 7D. And we're going to be using a particular build of Magic Lantern that's not on the main website. This is a custom build from a forum user called Defort. The reason I recommend using Defort's build, and that's what I'll be providing in the description, is because it allows you to record 10, 12 and 14 bit RAW. The original Magic Lantern build only allows you to do 14 bit which results in huge file sizes and there's not a great deal of uh, quality difference between 10 and 14 bit so I always just use 10. Before we install the files to the camera we just want to make sure that it's a clean card so put your CF card in the 7D and just format it using the 7D's menu. Once you've got a clean card put the CF card in your computer and basically copy these files onto the roots of the card. No subfolders, no nothing, just as they are. Once you've placed the files on your CF card, you can eject it from your computer, place it in the 7D and load up the camera. Once the camera's loaded, head to the Canon menu and you should see on the third spanner you'll have the firmware version. Now press OK on that and it will say update firmware. Before you do that, just check that you're on 2.0.3. That's what my camera's on and it may not be compatible if you're on an earlier version. After you've pressed update firmware, it will take you to Magic Lantern's installation screen. This should only take a second and it will do it all automatically. Once you're done, it will say please restart your camera. So go ahead and do that. Once you're loaded up again, the interface may look a little bit different. That's a good thing, it means that it's installed properly. And there's a few things we want to do just to get the most out of the recording. So hit the trash can button. Head over to the modules section of Magic Lantern and just make sure that MLV record, MLV play, MLV sound and raw tweak are loaded up. For these to apply we need to restart our camera one more time so let's do that. Hit the trash can once more to get into the Magic Lantern menu and we can now see that the raw video is available in 10, 12 and 14 bit. To enable the sound, we can go all the way to the left and you can see that we can have the internal microphone, we can have a stereo split, so the left is internal, the right is external, and so on and so forth. This sound file will not be recorded within the .mlv file, it will be an external WAV recording, but it will be synced. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this has been easy enough to follow. I may make a follow-up video in the coming weeks talking about my raw workflow, how I get the most out of these files from the camera. There are a number of videos talking about this, but uh, you know, it might be helpful to someone to see how I do it. Um, Magic Lantern has been an amazing tool for me. It's really opened up this camera and allowed people with a very modest budget to get cinema quality footage, if a little bit low res. But uh, you know what, people don't usually care about resolution as long as it looks nice. Um, so I hope you have fun with it and I'll see you on the next one.